In this video, we're going to do a two-part pricing problem with different consumer demands. A monopoly has two consumers with different demands. The marginal cost and average cost are constant at $2. Consumer 1's inverse demand is given by the following, price equals 10 minus Q, or the regular demand is Q equals 10 minus P. Consumer 2's inverse demand, price equals 12 minus Q, or the, just a regular demand, is given by Q equals 12 minus P. In the first part, we're going to assume that the firm can charge each consumer a different access fee. We're going to solve for the access fee charged to each consumer, and then the firm's total profit from this strategy. So first, the firm will set the per unit price at marginal cost, so we're going to do marginal cost pricing here. So the price will be $2, and since marginal cost equals average cost, there's going to be no profit generated from the selling of units. All profits will come from the access fee. Consumer 1's access fee uh, is going to be consumer surplus at the price of $2, and it'll equal the area of a triangle. So at a price of $2, we're going to plug this $2 into this demand equation here, Q equals 10 minus P, plugging in 2 into here, the consumer will buy 8 units. Consumer surplus is going to be given by this equation. It's a triangle, so that's where the 1 half is coming from. It's going to be the vertical intercept of the demand curve minus the price times the quantity. Price is 2 and the quantity is 8. What is a vertical intercept? That's going to be this value right here, the constant on the inverse demand. So we look at the inverse demand and we get the, the, the constant. That will be the vertical intercept. We do not want to use the constant on the regular demand equation. Even though they're equal here, they don't have to be. So again, that's very important. Get the vertical intercept from the inverse demand. And then solving this, after, we making, our, after making our substitutions, consumer surplus is $32. So that'll be the access fee for consumer one. Before consumer one can buy any products that are priced at $2 each, the consumer must pay this access fee of $32. Consumer two's access fee, uh, the consumer surplus at the price of $2 will equal, once again, the area of a triangle. And the price is 2, taking this $2 and plugging it into consumer 2's demand equation. 12 minus 2 means the consumer will buy 10 units when charged $2 a unit. Consumer surplus here is going to be given by this equation. The vertical intercept, 12, is this constant from the inverse demand. The price is 2 and the quantity is 10. Solving that, we get $50. So the access fee here is $50. So before consumer two can buy any units at $2 each, the consumer must pay this access fee, this membership fee of $50. The total profit here is going to be $82. It's just the sum of the access fee to consumer one plus the access fee to consumer two. There is no profit generated from selling the units to consumer one or consumer two because we get price equal to average cost. Now in case two, we're going to assume the firm must charge each consumer the same access fee and same per unit price. We want to solve for the access fee price and the firm's total profit. So again, here's consumer one, here's consumer two. I'm just going to subscript now the quantities here to indicate the consumer. Uh, consumer 1 has a lower access fee as we solved for in the part 1 of this problem. And that access fee was just an area of a triangle. The vertical intercept, 10, price, quantity. And what I'm going to do here for this Q subscript 1, since Q subscript 1 equals 10 minus P, I'm going to make a substitution. So here's consumer 1's access fee simply as a function of the price. So again, the key step here is that for the quantity, we're going to plug in 10 minus P. And so the firm's profit is going to be the following. It's going to be two times the consumer surplus of the consumer that has a lower access fee 
plus price minus marginal cost times the number of units sold to consumer one plus price minus marginal cost times the number of units sold to consumer two. So let's make a substitution. So the consumer with the lower access fee, I'm going to plug in this equation here. So I have that now in parentheses. The marginal cost is two. So wherever I had marginal cost, I'm replacing that with two. And for the Q subscript one, that's now 10 minus P. So we're making a substitution for Q subscript one, plugging in 10 minus P. And for Q subscript two, that appears over here, we're plugging in 12 minus P. So we have profit simply as a function of the price. And this will now become a straightforward maximization problem. I'm going to take the derivative of this profit equation with respect to price. Uh, before we do that, we can simplify this a little bit. This 2 times 1 half is just 1. And then 10 minus p times 10 minus p is just 10 minus p squared. Everything else I'm leaving unchanged. So just rewriting that last step. And now taking the derivative of the profit equation with respect to price, we're going to get the following result. So we bring down this 2 in front. And then we look in parentheses, and we're going to take the uh, derivative of minus p, which is just minus 1. So we get that. And then we have this p minus 2 times 10 minus p. The derivative of p is 1, and that's being multiplied by 10 minus p. And then we kind of do a reverse. Then we're going to have p minus 2 times the derivative of 10 minus p. The derivative here of 10 minus p is just minus 1. So these two terms right here give us the derivative of this right here. And then our last derivative, p minus 2 times 12 minus p. The derivative of p is 1, and that's going to be multiplied by 12 minus p. And then we kind of reverse it. Then we got p minus 2 times the derivative of 12 minus p, which is just minus 1. This equals 0 because we're maximizing, and now it's just a matter of simplifying. So just doing some steps to simplify here. Just simplifying some more. Some things are going to cancel for us. And we get P equals 3. Once again, that was our access fee. We plug in $3 that we just solved for. We see the access fee will be $24.50. So if each consumer must pay the same access fee, the firm would charge everyone $24.50. Consumer 1 will buy 7 units. So here's consumer 1's demand. When the price is 3, consumer 1 will buy 7 units. Consumer 2's demand, when price is $3, consumer 2 will buy 9 units. And now we can calculate the firm's total profit. 2 times cons uh, the access fee, which is $24.50. And then plugging in our values here for price, marginal cost, and the quantities, the firm's profit is $65. If the firm must charge all consumers the same access fee, the firm will sell to both consumers. In part one, if one of the consumers had an access fee greater than $65, the firm would only sell to that consumer, charging her the higher, higher access fee to maximize profit. The firm would prefer to charge each consumer a separate access fee to generate the largest possible profit. However, if the firm must charge the same access fee to both consumers, the firm will make less profit as we just uh, showed here in part two. All right, I'm going to stop here.